We cross over to my colleague, uh, Elfas Langat, who has updates on the expected cremation of the late Kenneth Matiba, which is taking place. And we know that this has elicited a lot of conversation and uh, controversy. So let's just cross over life and listen to the updates from that end. Well, good morning to you, Sharon Momani, in the studio, and to all our viewers from different parts of the country and different parts of the world. Uh, we are live from Lee Funeral Home here in Nairobi. And as you put it, uh, there have been two services for the late Kenneth Stanley Njido Matiba. One um, yesterday at Ihura Stadium, and the other one the day before yesterday at All Saints Cathedral. Now, we are here, and we've spoke to one of uh, the relatives of the late Kenneth Matiba, and they've confirmed to us that the body will be m moving from uh, this particular place here at the Lee Funeral uh, to Langata uh, Crematorium, where the body would be cremated as per the wishes of the late. Now, yesterday, uh, Langata Cemetery Superintendent uh, Nderitu Maina confirmed uh, that the exercise is expected to take between six to eight hours. And for one to, to be cremated, uh, they have to be notified 24 hours prior and open a file with a city mortuary and pay 16,800 shillings. Now, we are here and uh, they've just been doing some a bit of a cleaning exercise on the house. They're going to be using a Jaguar KCN 091N to ferry the body of the iconic leader. And it has been termed as basically a family affair. It's more private as opposed to yesterday's and uh, the day before yesterday's two memorial services where Kenyans were allowed to actually pay their last respects uh, to the fallen hero, uh, Kenneth Matiba. We'll be heading there. And uh, again, the superintendent, uh, Mr. Sanderi, to confirm that once the cremation has been done, they will be expecting one of their county officials, uh, county worker rather, to be um, collecting the bones that would remain, then will be taken to the grinder and then be placed in an urn before the remains are handed over to the family. What we are waiting upon now is uh, the family to arrive. We've been informed that the body will be leaving at 11.30, half past 11, uh, to head to Langata for the final journey of Matiba. Matiba has been described as a sportsman. He's been described as a businessman, as well as a leader whose desire to have a Kenya that uh, accommodates everyone, uh, the ideals of democracy and multipartism are some of the things that Matiba stood for. We are here, we are waiting for the family, we are waiting for the activity now and proceed to Langata where the cremation exercise is expected to start. It will take between six to eight hours to cremate the body of the late Matiba. We are following up on this story and uh, should we have more updates, we will be informing you. Sharon. Right, many thanks, Elphas Lagat there, who is at the Lee Funeral Home, giving us uh, the latest updates on that. And remember, the family really stating that this function, the cremation of the late uh, Kenneth Matibia, is going to be a very private affair, uh, just including family and close friends. So should we have any more updates, we shall be keeping you updated on the same. So we want to take another short...